today, we're going to show you the key installation steps on a Ram ProMaster van. This vehicle has a 136 inch wheelbase with a high roof. Before you get started, make sure you have the following tools as they'll make the installation go much easier. When you unpack the panels from the shipping box, please note that each panel will have a part label on the smooth side. The installation instructions included list all part numbers and descriptions as well as a visual cross-reference. Also included in the shipping box is a bag of fasteners. Please note there are two fastener sizes. The one with the larger thread is used for existing holes, while the smaller thread fastener goes into the new holes that need to be drilled. While the panels can be installed in any order, we're going to start on the driver's side in the rear lower area. The first step is to install a plastic bracket on the forward pillar in this cavity. Drill a quarter inch hole at each of the dimple locations on one of the plastic brackets labeled DVP028. Measure 5 inches down from where the large recess begins at the top of the cavity and mark the sheet metal pillar in this location. Orient the bracket with the end labeled top toward the top of the van and align the top edge of the plastic bracket with the mark made on the previous step. While holding the bracket in position, mark the sheet metal at each of the hole locations. Remove the plastic bracket and drill a 1 8 inch hole through the sheet metal at each of the center marks. Reposition the bracket on the sheet metal pillar and fasten the bracket to the van using the self-tapping screws supplied in the kit. Now we're ready for the panel. Place it against the wall as shown and pop in the larger thread fastener wherever you see an existing hole. Once the panel is held in place, drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole in each location that does not have an existing hole. Follow this up by drilling a quarter inch hole in the same locations and pop in the smaller thread fasteners to secure the panel. The next panel we're going to install is the driver's side rear upper panel. Start by measuring down one and a half inches from the location shown and draw a straight line across each pillar. Hold the panel in position, aligning the bottom edge of the plastic panel with the bottom edge where the sheet metal drops back and mark each hole. Drill one eighth inch pilot holes at each of the center marks and then drill quarter inch holes at these same locations. Hold the panel in position again and insert the smaller thread fasteners. At this point, you'll need a second person to push in and hold the middle part of the panel so that the horizontal lines drawn previously cross the center of the slots in the plastic panel. While one person is holding the panel in the correct position, the other person can drill the upper holes. These are 1 8 inch pilot holes and then quarter inch finishing holes. Next, install the smaller thread fasteners in all remaining slot locations. Next is the driver's side forward lower panel. In this area, we're going to use both of the plastic brackets labeled DVP027. One will be installed on the forward pillar in this cavity and the other will be installed on the rearward pillar. Start by drilling a quarter inch hole at each of the dimple locations on the plastic brackets. Measure down 5 inches from where the large recess begins at the top of the cavity and mark each sheet metal pillar in this location. From this point, the orientation, alignment, and installation of the two brackets follows the same steps as the one in the rear cavity. Once complete, the forward lower panel can be moved into place and installed by popping in the larger thread fasteners into the existing holes, drilling new holes where needed, and popping in the smaller thread fasteners to secure the panel. Next is the driver's side forward upper panel. The steps are the same as the rear upper and again, you'll want to have some help pushing in and holding the middle part of the panel so you can drill the upper holes and install the fasteners. The last two panels on the driver's side go on the upper and lower portion of the middle pillar. Start with the upper piece and punch in the thicker thread fasteners into the existing holes while holding the panel in place. Once secured, drill the other remaining holes and punch in the smaller thread fasteners. 
For the lower pillar panel, hold the panel in position and mark the centers of the three slots. Then, remove the panel and drill holes at each location. Next, reposition the panel and install three smaller thread fasteners to secure the panel in place. Now, let's move to the passenger side in the rear lower area. Follow the same steps as you did on the driver's side to install a plastic bracket on the passenger side. Again, the orientation, alignment, and installation of the brackets follows the same steps as the driver's side. Once complete, the panel can be moved into place and installed by popping in the larger thread fasteners into the existing holes, drilling new holes where needed, and popping in the smaller thread fasteners to secure the panel. Next, on the passenger side rear upper panel, we need to start by removing the clips that hold the electrical cords in place. They will not be needed once the panel is installed. From here, the steps are the same as the driver's side. Measure down one and a half inches, draw a straight line across each pillar, and have someone push in and hold the panel in place while you drill the upper holes and pop in the fasteners. The last two panels on the passenger side go on the upper and lower portion of the middle pillar. Start with the upper piece and punch in the larger thread fasteners into the existing holes while holding the panel in place. Once secured, drill the remaining new holes and punch in the smaller thread fasteners. Repeat on the lower panel. There are two panels that install on the sliding door, a lower and an upper panel. There are factory installed panels over the lower cavity in the door. Using a prying tool as shown, or a regular screwdriver, remove the factory installed panel. The lower plastic panel has existing holes for all locations, so just position and pop in the larger thread fasteners. The upper panel requires drilling for all hole locations. Last but not least are the rear door panels. As you can see, the easiest way to do this is by closing the doors and working from inside the van. For each of the two upper panels, measure 7 eighths of an inch down from the bottom of the cavity and make two marks below the cavity, one toward the left end and one toward the right end to be used for keeping the panel level. Then, measure 3 eighths of an inch toward the side of the door containing the hinge and make another mark here. Position the panel so that it lines up with all three marks and locate the center of each of the four slots on the sheet metal using a marker. Take the panel down and drill 1 8 inch pilot holes and then quarter inch finishing holes in the four locations. Reposition the panel in the correct orientation and insert a smaller thread fastener in each of the four slot locations. Next, remove the existing lower panels using the prying tool and discard along with the factory fasteners. Installing the lower panels requires only positioning the panel and popping the fasteners into the existing holes. Repeat the same process for the other door.